We begin with breaking news from Toronto City Hall. Deputy Mayor Doug Holliday urges Mayor Rob Ford to come out and speak publicly about allegations he uses crack cocaine. Holliday says he and other members of the executive will sign a letter to the mayor asking him to tell his side of the story. He also says he'll speak with Ford personally later today. Our reporter Rebecca Thompson is live at Toronto City Hall right now. Rebecca, Doug uh, Holliday says it's still busy business as usual at City Hall. It sure doesn't look like it. Well, that's right, Anita. Doug Holliday addressed the media this morning. Of course, as you can imagine, after day seven, uh, it's a bit of a media circus in there. They're staking out. There are dozens and dozens of camera cameras inside just staked out uh, in front of the mayor's office. Now, we heard from Doug Holliday that members of the executive committee are right now preparing a letter that is meant for the mayor, but it's also going to be an open letter. And uh, what they're planning to say is, yes, it's business as usual. Usual. The affairs of the city will continue, but what they're going to be asking is that the mayor address these allegations publicly. This is something that Doug Holliday uh, is urging the mayor uh, today, that the mayor uh, addresses these allegations so that they can move past this situation. Now, we have uh, we have some coverage of the of Doug Holliday, the deputy mayor's news conference, and as you can as you watch in right now. We can do our business here. If, if the mayor was hospitalized or if the mayor went on a vacation or something else happened to take him away from the scene of uh, City Hall here, we would still continue on with the business. That's the way that this is set up. This operation doesn't depend on any one person, and we will continue to do the city's business. How urgent is it that he address this? Well, I think it's urgent, but again, it's up to him. If the mayor doesn't address the issue, should he step down? If the mayor is unwilling to speak to these allegations, should he step down? I'm not willing to say that. Sir, are you signed the letter? Who signed the letter? Well, I, I don't know for sure. I haven't seen the final version of it yet, and I couldn't really say. No, Gary Crawford was with me here. Gary signed it. Uh, Peter Milchin, uh, Jay Robinson, I, I don't know who else. Do you think there's a very real possibility that you will need to step in and act as mayor in the coming weeks? Well, I don't know that either, but uh, if it comes to that, that's my job as deputy mayor, and I will do it. Sir, is this a crisis for the city of Toronto? Well, I don't know if crisis is the right word. It's it's certainly a, a situation we have to deal with, and, and we've got to get around it, and we will. Does Are the executive council have any power whatsoever to uh, reduce the mayor's powers or his capacity as mayor? Is there any power on council to do I that? Don't, I don't believe so. I don't think Mr. so. Deputy, I mean, isn't the reality here that the only person that controls the end game here is Mayor Ford himself? There's nothing that you and the executive can do. If he shows up on Tuesday, he can sit in his chair and lead the meeting, correct? Yes. Okay. Are citizens worried? Well, I don't know. I've not heard from, from very many that uh, indicate that they're worried. Uh, and I've tried to reassure the public at any opportunity I've had that business of the city will go on. It's gone on all week. We've had committee meetings take place. We've had uh, council take place. Executive meeting is going to take place next week. The water still comes out of your tap. The fire department are still working. You can still get books from the library. I mean, every city service that I know of is still working the way it's supposed to. And it doesn't depend on one person. So now, I need a what we heard. Anita, what we heard is that uh, Deputy Mayor Doug Holliday say that if uh, Mayor Rob Ford has his other side of the story, uh, the other side of the story, of course, to these allegations made of this alleged crack video uh, announced by the Toronto Star as well as Gawker.com, that the mayor needs to make them known. Now, the mayor, uh, according to Holliday, has the legal right to stay on as mayor. Uh, the affairs of the city will continue, as you heard from Doug Holliday. Also, uh, that the inner circle of the the mayor, the executive committee members, uh, still support the mayor's agenda and will continue, Anita, on with the agenda of the mayor. Now, the uh, deputy mayor, Doug Holliday, says that the, uh, he expects that Mayor Rob Ford will be at City Hall today and also that he will be meeting with the mayor uh, later on today. Now, Doug Holliday wouldn't address the situation where the chief of staff was fired. Of course, the chief of staff was just fired by Mayor Rob Ford yesterday. Uh, he said he was disappointed that the, the chief of staff 
did a good job. Now, there were several reports as to why uh, the chief of staff uh, may have been fired, including uh, that they uh, that that he the, the chief asked the mayor to go away, get some help, and then come back. We also have heard reports that the mayor and the chief of staff butted heads uh, over a proposed uh, football party that the chief of staff said wasn't a good idea. So we'll continue, Anita, fo to follow all of this. Uh, it's a bit of a circus right here, uh, and we'll follow exactly what this letter uh, says as soon as it comes out. And of course, uh, if the mayor, in fact, does indeed come out, and of course, if the deputy mayor comes out after having met the mayor, Anita. All right, definitely a circus playing out there at City Hall. We're going to check in with you again later in the show. Rebecca, thanks for this. Thank you. That, of course, is Rebecca Thompson live at Toronto City Hall. We will check in with her in a moment's time.